Um, ladies and gentlemen, remember when we're dealing with the rational zero test, um, the rational zero test is going to tell us all of the possible <coughs> rational zeros. Uh, I'm sorry, rational zeros. Not irrational. They're going to be positive and they're going to be negative. So there are two important points with this. We're going to have the P and we're going to have the Q. So to find the number of rational zeros, we have to take the factors, plus or minus, of each of these numbers. So let's just do p over here. Now remember, we're going to be doing plus or minus, so let's just go and list at it. We could do 15 times 1, 5 times 3, and that's it, right? q, that's going to be negative 4. Now, again, it doesn't really matter if it's negative 4, positive 4, negative 15, positive 15. We just want to find the factors of it. Um, so I could do 4 times 1 and 2 times 2, right? So what I like to do a lot of times when I'm doing P over Q, you can do the plus or minus outside parentheses. Rather than writing plus or minus for every single term, I prefer just to write um, plus or minus outside. And then I like to list them from greatest to least. So I have 15, 5, 3, and 1, all over 4, 2, and 1. So now I have to write, though, every single numerator over every single denominator. So my final answer would be p over q plus or minus 15 over 4, comma, 15 over 2, comma, 15 over 1 is just 15. Correct. Then I can do 5 over 4. 5 over 2, 5 over 1 is just 5. I could do 3 over 4, 3 over 2, 3 over 1 is just 3. And I can do 1 over 4, 1 over 2, and 1 over 1. And that should be your final answer. Okay. Remember, it's plus or minus. Now remember, why, why, why do we even use this? Well, coming up, you guys have to do this because if you have a rational 0, it's going to be one of these numbers. This does not tell you exactly what is going to be the rational zero. But remember, when we graph and using our graphing calculator to see what the zeros are, or when we apply synthetic division, we know that we're going to want to use one of these numbers for synthetic division or to look for to help us find all the remaining zeros. Okay? So it's a very helpful um, technique for us to have. And yes, p over q is exactly